Now, in the meantime, as, let me just introduce uh, our, our guest in the studio. Uh, we'll, we'll be joined by a Deputy Minister of Trade and then also a current member of Parliament for Inshire. So he's also the incumbent going for the December elections. And then same for uh, Sam George, Ningo Pram Pram, member of Parliament, very vociferous, and good morning to you. How are you? Good morning. Yeah, yesterday I scanned you in the house. You, you, you were not too enthused about the sauna because you were just walking in. I thought uh, you should have been enthused. <laughs> good morning to our viewers. And yeah. Let me say a very, uh, let me say Happy New Year. I think this is the first time this yes, year you're I'm, coming I'm, here. I'm on the yeah. show. Um, it's our prayer and hope that this year is better than the last and that this year ends with the election of John Dramani Mahama's president of the Republic of Ghana to rescue the country. Yesterday, the president came to deliver his illusion of state. He came to deliver what? His illusion of state address. I see. Uh, All right. Some have called it a state of nothingness address. The president is completely out of sync with the Ghanaian people. Mm. Um, your viewers, my constituents, and the good people of Ghana, and yourself included, know what the true state of the economy is or the state of the nation is. The president was silent on a number of issues that worry and bother the ordinary man. Going into the 2024 elections, the number one issue on the mind of every Ghanaian mm. is actually jobs and unemployment. The bread and butter issues. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, we'll, 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 but, we'll, but, we'll dig deeper into he, them. He, he's lost on all of that. Mm. So, yeah. All right. So uh, it's a birthday of a regular on the show. And Bernard Monaicha birthday. Uh, please put his picture up. We're celebrating you because uh, when we call on you, you're always available. Bernard Mona, great guy. Great guy. You can see him with his Che Guevara beret. Happy birthday to you from all of us right here at Media General and uh, TV3 New Day as well. We're grateful always. Now, let's get the insert running. First, from the president shortly, just short one. And then we'll have um, Professor Bokpin also reacting subsequently. All of them should be short, and then we'll, we'll start with Sam George. The executive power of the state is vested in the president of the republic. He or she is the executive. There's no ambiguity about where the buck stops when it comes to responsibility for hap what happens in the government. It stops with the president. He or she has ultimate responsibility. It would be an unwise president that would present, pretend to have all the answers and refuse the advice of his officials. But the fact remains that the president holds the executive power. The cabinet, the ministers of state, all act ultimately in an advisory manner. Securing IMF program is not an achievement. It is a bit sad that with the resources and all that we, we've had, I mean, this is what our state of the nation address would contain. I think it's it's a bit it's a bit sad. Of course, going to the IMF is not to say it's a bad thing. Even relatively well governed countries go to the fund, right? Some go for uh, program support, policy instruments, and the rest of them. Standby arrangements and the rest of them. But the manner in which Ghana went for the 17th IMF program, uh, program really, it's, 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 it's interesting. And, and that is why I'm saying that that doesn't, merely securing that program doesn't mean achievement. Mr. Beaver, I say, I believe we can say with certainty that in the tourism sector, Ghana is finally re realizing her long-promised potential. Starting from the events and excitement of the year of returning 2019, Ghana has truly become an attractive tourist destination, with visitors' numbers increasing every year. December in G8 is now an established and increasingly attractive phenomenon, which brings visitors to our country in the month of December and has changed the events calendar around the Christmas holiday season in Accra and many other towns. 
Mr. Speaker, for the first time since the Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park was constructed in 1992, the government has undertaken the full modernization and rehabilitation of the facility. Since the commissioning of the modernized park in July 2023, the number of domestic and international visitors has risen dramatically. A national newspaper reporting on activities at the Rivan Park had a screaming headline which said, A Kufuado resurrects in Chroma. That gave me pause for a moment. But on reflection, I decided I would accept it, be it a compliment or criticism or an addition to the collection of sayings by elders. And that was an elaborate speech. Indeed, I was there. We brought you the live coverage. I did see um, one of our lead panelists today, and Sam George. What's your initial reaction to this? Well, Roland, like I said when you introduced me, the president clearly is out of sync. He doesn't understand what's going on in the country. He's living in a bubble. We've always said that the president has checked out already from the country. He's handed over power. Um, he's literally a figurehead right now. He doesn't understand what is happening with the Ghanaian people. The real state of the nation is not what he has come to talk about, but it's about the unprecedented rates of unemployment that we have in the country, the unprecedented corruption and waste that we see in the country, and the unprecedented economic mess and hardship that Ghanaians are, are, are saddled with. I mean, yesterday was so obvious how out of sync the president is and how dishonest his submission was that at a point in time I had to help him out. Oh, how? Um, because he was trying to talk about, he was trying to steal John Mahama's project, the, the Tema to Umpakadan Railway Project. That's a project that was started under John Mahama. The funds were secured by John Mahama. The improvement from Parliament was in 2016 with Fifi Kwete as Minister for Transport. Now the President comes to say that it is his project and he couldn't even pronounce Umpakadan. So it was Makadan, ma, 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 Makapa, and I shouted Umpakadan, and even with that, he didn't, he couldn't pronounce you it. You can say it's a slip of tongue. What's a slip of tongue? You've forgotten what they did in this country with Professor Mills and the company. You've forgotten? We're in this town. You claim you own the project, yet you don't even know the name of the town the project is in there. That's how dishonest and untruthful our president is. But you see, when, when the president comes to stand there and talks about saying that the macroeconomic indicators are once again, I'm quoting him, he says generally, mm. The macroeconomic indicators are once again pointing in the right direction. This was on page 13 of the mm. 20 of, 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 of the sort of page this, 13. Yeah, yeah. You know, the president and his and his mate, you know, Aplanke, Baumia, clearly are not just dishonest, but very untruthful people. The president does not have any regard for us. First and foremost, every single economic matrix that you want to use to measure economic stability and economic performance. Compare John Mahama December 2016 and compare now that we're talking are in complete opposites of what the president has said. I'll give you a few of them. The currency was four cities, 3.8, 4.0, they're about, let's say four cities in December 2016. Today, as we speak, it is 13 Ghana cities. And don't forget that for over a year, Ghana has not serviced any of its external debt. Yet the city, in fact, in the last week, the city moved from 12.3 to 13. That's what has happened. And so how the president can say that we are in a positive or we are moving in the right direction from four cities to 13 cities. And you know, for us to just understand this, yourself and now. Uh, Let's just assume that your salary is 5,000 Ghana cities. Mm. And if you earn 5,000 Ghana cities, you are well paid in Ghana today. 5,000 Ghana cities in 2016. Forget inflation and all of those things. Let's just assume it's the same 5,000 Ghana cities. In 2016, by four, divided by four was what? That would give you about $1,250. Mm. Mm? Today, 
5,000 CDs by the 13. We'll give you what? 5,000 divided by 13. $384. So your salary under John Mama that was equivalent to $1,250 is now equivalent to $384, less than $400. How President Akufuado will look you, Roland, in the face and say to you that the economy is moving in the right direction. We got judging. You were buying pure water at how much under John Mahama? Five pesos. Today, how much is pure water? How much was a loaf of bread under John Mahama? Today, how much is it? If your 5,000 Ghana cities you wanted to use to build, under John Mahama, your 5,000 Ghana cities would have comfortably bought you, at that time, a bag of cement was 20, 20 cities. So 5,000 divided by 20 would have bought you 250 bags of cement. Today, a bag of cement is 90 Ghana cities. It will buy you only 55 bags of cement, the same salary. Yet, Akufuado and Baumia look us in the face and tell us that everything is well. The rate of inflation in 2016 December was 15.4%. Today, it stands at 23.5%. Food inflation alone is 27.1%. In fact, in December 2022, inflation went as high as 54%. Yet the president tells us that things are in a positive direction. In 2022 alone, per the World Bank's own statistics, 800,000 Ghanaians, 800,000 Ghanaians fell into poverty. These were Ghanaians who were not poor before Akufuado. But he and Baumia, his head of economic management teams, poor management of the economy, made almost a million Ghanaians go into poverty. Yet the president looks those people in the face and tells them that we're moving in the right direction. In fact, for the second year running, Ghana has the highest lending rate in Africa. The lending rates in Ghana are higher than Eritrea and Somalia. Somalia has not had a functioning government for years. Libya is in a mess. Mali is, is, is a disaster. Yet, Ghana, for the second year running, has lending rates of 35%, the second highest, in fact, the highest in the whole of Africa. In 2016, it was 25%. Public debt, in 2016, our debt to GDP stood at 56%. In 2016, our debt to GDP ratio stood at 56%. Today, as of 2022 December, our debt to GDP stood at a staggering 103%. 103%. I mean, and this has led to us defaulting on our domestic and external debt obligations under Mamudu Baumia as the head of the economic management team. Never in the history of Ghana has Ghana defaulted on our loans since we started practicing our democracy. Yet the president tells you point blank and looks us in the face and tells us that we are moving in the right direction. Ghana's rating hmm, today, international rating, for Ghana, it's junk. And, and when they say junk, they mean baller. You mean with the credit rating agencies? Yes, yes. With Dr. Baumia, the Planke mate. With him in charge of the economic management of this country, our credit rating is baller status, junk status. That has never happened. When John Mahama was head of the economic management team, we were rated B, B+. Plus. Because of Baumia's poor management of the economy under Nana Dudanko Kufuado, Ghana has been locked out of the international uh, capital, ma market. capital market. Yet, they tell us that everything is working. Look, the overall GDP growth rate in 2016, when Jomahama was handing over, was 3.6%. At the end of the first three quarters of 2023, it had de declined to 2.8%. Yet, Jomahama had one oil well. He had developed two more and handed them three more, three oil wells. So more revenue, three times the revenue that John Mahama had. Yet our growth is 2.8%. The industry sector, and you see, they came and spoke 1D, 1F, and all the things. And I'm happy. The Deputy Minister for Trade is here. Stick up. 1D, 1F. Without 1D, 1F, industry grew 4.3% in 2016. With 1D, 1F, it is growing by negative 1.2, meaning it is retrogressing. 
negative 1.2 with 1D1F. With that 1D1F, it grew at positive 4.3%. In 2023, it grew at negative 1.2. These are not my figures. These are the figures from the appendixes of but the... But the 1D1F of, of, of industries of the, are there, oh. Ah, chief. And I'm telling you that Ken Uforiata, who is now designated the Minister for Finance International, mm. because Amin Anta is Minister for Finance local or domestic, came to Parliament with the 2024 figures. And you couldn't fix those figures because the IMF program was ongoing. And I'm saying to you that in 2016, industry without I, uh, 1D1F grew at 4.3% under John Mahama. And Nana Dodenko Kufuado and Dr. Baumia is grown by negative 1.2%. Manufacturing sector under John Mahama in 2016 was growing at 7.9%. Under Mahmoud Baumia and Nana Dodenko Kufuado in 2023 grew by negative 1.0. If you look at the construction sector in 2016 grew by 8.4%. 8 under, 20, under, under Nana Dodenko Kufuado and Dr. Baumia, it grew by negative 5% in 2023. Nothing is growing positively in this country under these guys. Yet they come and tell you that we are headed in the right direction. Nana Dodenko Kufuado and Baumia have destroyed the fiber of Ghana's economy. They have sent us back to pre Godgesberg era days because everything is in a reverse gear and you remember i stated before on the floor of parliament when i was debating the 2019 budget statement i said to them that when they said we we're moving forward as an engineering graduate i'm taught in engineering 101 that motion can be positive or negative and so <laughs> they are they have put us in reverse gear mahama had put us in gear one or Mill started us with gear one, moved us, or, or let me even go back and say, President Rollins put us in gear one. We started moving. Kufo came, took us to gear two. Mills came, put us in gear three. Mama put us in gear four, heading for gear five. That's then fine. this, wait, 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 wait. Then the, the mate and driver Banza show up and say, ah, but why are these people using only the numbers? You know, when you look at your gear stick, you have gear one, two, three, four, five, and up to six. Then you have R. Which means reverse. Yeah. They say, ah, why are they using the numbers? Me, I like alphabet. So then they put it in R and then Tiaso. So now George, we are this going is where back. I come in. You we know, are you, reversing. Look, the other side of the argument that is always used to counter this sort of argument you're making is that why is it that it looks like there, there's a certain tendency to discount gains that were made in 2017, 2018, and 2019? What gains were made in 2017, 2018, 2019? When you take the World Bank report, of 2016 oh. when ghana went into the imf program in 2015 because under mahama we went under, into an imf program in 2015. Certainly. it stated clearly that we're going to grow by 7.8 percent in 2017 because of the coming on stream of the oil wells that mahama had 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 had, had, had worked on it stated in that report that we'll grow 7.7.8 percent and 8.2 percent in 2018. go and take and i can show you evidence of 2018 the rot in Ghana did not start in 2020. It started in 2018. In 2018, Gabi Ochidaku put out a tweet saying Ghanaians should be patient with government because they knew that things were tough, but things would get better. In 2018, in a town hall meeting in Koforidua, Ken Oforiata, who was then Minister for Finance, stated clearly that they knew things were difficult, but asked for time for, for, to turn things around. So it is not correct that everything was going smoothly under them, even in 2017 and 2018. Look, let us be clear about this. They should tell you what they did in 2017 or 2018 that led to any of those positive What was a prudent but economic see, management? What prudent economic management? <laughs> the, the things that you inherited. You, it's, just like, it's just like, Roland, you built this show up to a setting stage with setting following. If today, Media General takes you off and brings somebody who is very incompetent to run the show, the first week of the show, your ratings will still be high. Your numbers are still going to be there because the following has been built. It will take time for the following, the eyeballs to stop following the show because the person is, is bomb. The person is like Baumia. You understand me? It will take a, a certain period for that, the effect of that person's work to then be seen. What about COVID in Russia and Ukraine? Why? Exogenous factors. Why? COVID, 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 the, the, the virus was formed here in Ghana. China, Italy. Italy lost over 3 million of its citizens. Italy's economy is not in tatters well, like this. supply chains were di disrupted. Why? Ghana, Ghana is the only country that gets supply chains from their place. Why? Russia, Russia and Ukraine. Why? Russia is dropping, dropping the bombs in Alajo. 
or Ukraine is, is, is firing its rockets into, into JB. How is it that we are not complaining? We are complaining more, we are crying more than the bereaved. But Roland, before you're asking me to wrap up, does it not strike you that in the entire sonar, and I'm happy Stika is here, the president did not address unemployment. He did not address corruption. The president was silent the entire sonar. Hmm? He didn't talk about cocoa production. Zero word on cocoa production. The president was completely silent on corruption. The president was completely silent on the forex rates, the depreciation of the city. The president was silent on inflation. And most importantly for me, because I'm a young man, the president was silent on youth unemployment. If a president can deliver a state of the nation address and doesn't speak of corruption because he's the most corrupt president in the history of Ghana, he doesn't speak about cocoa production because his party is involved in Galamse that is destroying our cocoa farms because party here is a He doesn't speak about the depreciation of the city because his vice president, who is the head of the economic management team, who told us that when the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rate would, would, would expose you and lie to us that he had arrested the dollar and given the keys to the IGP. Meanwhile, the dollar is dancing. I don't know whether right now it is Amapiano or Skelewu on his head. So right now, you can't be using right some now, of these invectives right now, we and are sitting here. Well. We are sitting here. The president and what? Spoke, or Amapiano, one of them. Sam George, you get it. And the yeah. president did not speak about youth unemployment. I, I this have is here, the, the president who promised the youth of our country jobs. Please, 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 Sam George, Sam George. How Let can me. this be the state of, national, of, of the nation's address? Uh, uh, stick up. Well, welcome, Deputy Trade Minister, Member of mm. Parliament for Inshaizo, and um, welcome. What's your own reaction towards? Um, <laughs> Some judge has been saying, Dr. Stephen Amwa. Um, my regards to our viewers and listeners this morning. Thank you very much. You ask him not to use the words, and he says, kill wood and what? Ask him to repeat the insult again. No, so I told him you shouldn't <laughs> be doing that. If you ask me not to repeat a word, then I ask you, I ask you the first insolent word, and then end. I'm just leading him on, but I think I have to advise my brother. The use of driver banser, the insult, I don't think it's right. Honestly speaking, mm. I could have also probably used similar words for former President Mahama, but God forbid, I will not do that. Because the Bible says that we should uh, respect the elderly, we should honor our fathers. So if you, if you have a dissenting opinion on whatever is going on in Ghana, the use of insolent words, I will just beg Advising. my younger brother mm -hmm. that one day he, could also be, he can also become a president. Now you're MP. You don't know where God will end you. And I'm sure you expect other people to respect you. Mm. <laughs> the use of these words do not let you win election. And most of the things you say, please, go through the statement that the president made. Whether there was nothing about uh, CD depreciation or otherwise. No, was in it. It even made, the, the, it made this emphatic statement that there had been stability to the extent that Depreciation over a period of time had been just about 9%. You see, go and check. Yeah. If my brother hasn't read everything, or he's just out of propaganda machinery, wants to lie to people. Let me tell you something. The situation in which we find ourselves mm. as a country, mm. probably, I'll say probably because I don't have scientific data to prove what I'm saying, but probably if you have been under the NDC, things would have been worse. I it don't been worse. I'm saying that the situation we found ourselves in as a country and as a globe. Look, when in our history as a country, that people were asked to stay home, but they were paid. When in our history. When in our history, that within the shortest possible time, private sector had to sack over 40,000 people. That we had revenue shortfalls of about 12 billion. So in managing your fiscal space, we had to, I mean, as a matter of, compelling And you're factor. referring to the COVID period. Yeah, I'm coming. As a matter of compelling factor, we had to depend on debt financing. So our debt to GDP moved over 80%. These are uncontrollable factors in strategic management and economic management. These are situations, uncertainties that, I mean, sometimes it's interesting that even when the globe, inflation rate was hovering around averagely 300%. And we are a dependent economy. What are happening to us? Supply chain, everything. So when we get the chance to talk, don't let us 
Look, next time, call me. Let me bring NDC's manifesto from 2014, 15, 16, and then pick that of Manado. And all the salient and relevant primary macro indicators. Let's cross check the facts he's talking about. He's with the figures and stuff. A lot of them he's just, just trying to deceive Ghanaians. Nobody said there's no hardship in Ghana. Is there no hardship all over the world? I import uh, uh, body stuff and then vitamins for my pharmacy. Mm. Some of the things that were costing me in terms of unit or item, 99. Within three months, they went to 29 and 10%. 10, 10 pounds, which is about 150 Ghana cities. Our argument is that we had unprecedented situation prevailed in the world that affected Ghana. Our economy went so bad because government was not getting revenue domestically. Market activity had been impaired. People were asked to stay home, yes. So our debt to GDP went up. The only way to come back was to work on introduction of taxes that will let us consolidate our fiscal space. And then our brothers, because of their numbers in parliament, moved heaven and earth to impede any policy that would have been functional to this country, Which including policy? Yee Levy and all of them. And Ghanaians followed. And this had been the practice between MPP and DC. Uh -huh. Just like the VAT. Mm -hmm. Which to me, we need to get away from this outmoded way of wanting to have power because it hasn't helped Ghana. I don't but understand. Now, Are uh, you saying that the E levy was opposed because it was the NDC that did that? Oh, but they, they started opposing impact. You know, it took us almost almost three, four months for us We to had pass civil it. society. Imani, you know, Imani I'm saying Africa. NDC started and then it affected other external. That's what I'm talking about. Whether it's NDC or even whatever you are talking about. Mm. Our intention to capitalize on the year market, which was booming, to get taxes, to consolidate our fiscal space was impaired. But what we are saying today is that with all the problems, now the economy is being restored because of prudent economic management of this government. Of course, inflation rate went to about 54.1%. In 2022, there, there about. And by 2023, and where we have the official figures, it's about 23%. Our GDP that we targeted about one point something moved to 2.8%. Our current account, which is very important in, in managing such situations. And the president talked about it. It went to negative one point something. Mm. Now it, we are doing positive. So most of the primary macro indicators, which are the springboard of all four secondary macro indicators, such as health sector, agriculture, agri infrastructure, energy and all those, all those are doing well now. Money, money, so we says are I should ask you, how did we get there before now we say we're recovering? How did we get where? How did we get to the West Point? Now I, that explain, we... I think I should you heard. The point is that anybody that understands the mechanization of the economy of most African countries, including Ghana, we practice what I describe as negative effective rate economy or tax rate economy. What it means is that originally, what are the NDC MPP? Money is outlaid from the government or by the government every year. If we divide that amount by all the houses in Ghana, the amount each of them will get is always, always eh, higher than the amount we receive if we divide in terms of revenue generation with our loans. So we normally run deficit economy. This is a fact. That is true. About 2 million out of 32 million pay direct tax in this country. In direct tax, we have a lot of issues. Leakages, you say, why didn't they tax it? We have a lot of issues. This is, I'm trying to do the right thing. People can take or not. You can do politics, it's up to you. If you continue to do this functional, inimical, dirty politics that we've been doing for about 30 years and Ghana is where it is, you can choose to do that. It's love with you and your God. But the situation, as you said, from 2016 up down to 2017, he's talking about projections. How can he say projections would have worked? We talk about uncertainties. You can project. And uncertainties will throw your projection somewhere. It's a fact. We were growing about 7% averagely for three years. Our inflation, our inflation rate kept on being about 7 point something for a long time. 
We are doing so much more. This is a fact. That's not correct. Really. It's a fact. Check inflation rate. Roland. It was about seven percent. Sabja, please note, note, note whatever it is. Right is uh, and then Sabja, please we note all it knew because our economy is depends on the global economy and the global supply chain went bad. It affected us. It is a fact. Some of the items that they were shipping that were about four dollars moved to twelve twelve dollars. You can say that is not true or not. But in spite of all these hardships, of course, you cannot say everything was about that. Because we also have expenditure issues as a country. There are certain common factors that run through or across all governments or as a country that we need to work on. Personally, I also have my own professional <laughs> expert understanding or tendencies and notions for some of them, whether NDC, MPP, we need to tell they are there. But we know that to a large extent, the global crisis, look, only three days ago, or yesterday, what happened? In Europe, is it Brazil or whatever, farmers were striking. In Europe, it, it hasn't really got into, it. look, the health situation is down, but its impact on the global economy has not fully been resurrected or resolved. This is a fact. But what we are saying is that in spite of all these hash, no, talking about 1D1F, yes, please. about 170 companies are operational. Okay? About operational. Some 321 operational. 211 brand new, 170,000 jobs have been created. But it's not enough. If you want to do comparisons, and the NDC, four years before, three to four years before they left power, there was a ban on public sector employment. And all of them were there that we had to come in, took over. So we had to come and then take over. So what can you say about it? We are a country that, in terms of well-established, sustainable employment opportunity, we have issues that I think we need to redefine our corporate focus. But the president's focus was on the fact that because we are prudent managers of the economy, We've been able to turn things around that now things are improving. The indicators we're having, even those days since were worse, that the world was growing negative 3.3, we we'll grew 0.4. Check, check all the facts. Talking about, is it fatality or whatever, and people who died during the COVID, check our country. Even the PFM Act 2016, Act 921, Section 18, gives recognition to some of these things that when we had a situation such as <laughs> okay we had situations such as war natural disaster health epidemic just as we had even our controls fiscal rules and policies we need to suspend them so we had war time and not peace time but we've done so much work with the huge infrastructural achievements of this government in my constituency in Shiaso, i'm not saying all is well but under his excellency nanado danko kufu at this government Go and check at least about 2,200 school children. First year, first time of Nanado Dankwa had tables and chairs. At least they had one ambulance, they had CCTV infrastructure, the road network, about 17 of the 26 communities. Either the road is done or is going on well, unprecedented uh, 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 residential, whatever, for judges. Go and check. Now, Accra Road. In Koko Bypass, mm. go and see massive work there. And you know, massive work there. We want to develop Ghana like the outside, that they take highways from who, there. Who wants to do that? The, the government under Nanado Danko Kufa and then His Excellency Alhaji Dokamamud Baumia. So, what we are saying is that in any case, you can throw away the prospects and the gains that we have from free SHS. But for that, about 100,000 young ones would have stayed home every year. This is what we are talking about. That indeed, we had different situation. However, we've been able to manage the situation prudently said that now there is hope. Things seem to be recovering and recovering very fast. I'm only praying that we can consolidate that and make sure that we maintain our consistency in managing this economy the way we want it. And Ghanaians very soon will feel the impact of what we are doing. But the use of insults and other things, how can I insult Baumia or Nanad. Is it not the same Baumia that in terms of digitization? Now mm. turn around time. Okay. Go to DVLA, go to National Health Insurance, go to births and deaths, go to all those places. And you're insulting such a man. 
Cool. It is wrong. But Sam, what Sam does, I don't think the use of those words is not right. Okay. Honestly. Okay. The use of those words is not right. All right. Sam, I will Sam, never be part of those Sam, things. Sam will have his point to react. But just in the next three minutes, this is the 2020 report of the Ghana Revenue Authority. And if we remember vividly, there was the revised projection by the finance minister in March. Immediately we recorded the COVID Which cases. year are you talking about? 2020. Oh, for the very COVID year that you said that our finances no, no, were no, in no, turmoil. No. no, 2020, COVID, its impact had not been that materialized. Let's be honest. Go and check. Don't worry. I'll come no, forward. No, go and that. check. I'll come forward. Don't we are talking about when, the world, coming, when the world was growing negative 3.3. I'm laying 3. to a question. So please. it's not at the embryonic stage of COVID. It's not, it's not, no, it's not aware. Go, go and check. Embryonic. Go and check. All right. Yes, so this is the 20... Go and bring this and then... No. Call. They are separate issues. They are not separate. They, are separate they issues. cannot be separate. No. Issues. At the embryonic stage, things were different Please, from this the... This is the 2020 the report. In terms of impact. And, 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 and this is, a, this is a, a, a caption of that 2020 report. They bring 2020, 2021, 2022. Of the Ghana Revenue... No, I want you to bring that. Of the, govern, so of, that we get a of the Ghana picture. Revenue Authority report. <laughs> it says, despite the challenging economic environment, the GRE was able to mobilize tax revenue of 45.4 million, exceeding the 2020 mid-year review, and this is at the end of the year. This achievement was as a result of the pragmatic effort put in place by management and the dedication and commitment of staff who, in spite of the risks posed by COVID-19, ensured that revenue mobilization efforts to drive the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda was sustained. This performance represents a positive deviation of 6.2% over the target and a nominal growth rate of 3.4%. Now, we experienced difficulties 2021 was okay. 2020, because after 2021, 2020, we couldn't then go to the markets, the commercial markets. But the question that had been asked always by those academics in the economic department that we always speak to, Buckpin, etc., Lord Mensa, all of them, was that Ghana was not in this alone. So we capture the report of the Economic Intelligence Unit making projections from 2023 as to the countries that had done well from the COVID or the post-COVID period. And let's put that on the screen for the economic. Two, two. Okay, so I, I, so we have two. So, 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 so they undertake an, an outlook. And this is the growth that they have. So that all the countries that had done well, can we just project only the, the world's fastest growing economies based on what they had done? It says, Strong growth amid heated elections and financial woes. And this is an outlook for the sub-region as well as the rest of sub-Saharan Africa and the world. Let's look at only that one. Please, the one on the, on the right, all right? We can't do that because I sent it single-handedly. So I, I was expecting that would be the single-handedly. So we have the countries that are there. We have Guyana. We have Macau, we have Senegal, we have Mauritania. The economies that are doing well, and, 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 these, and, and, and I'll be posting a question to the, the, the Deputy Trade Minister. We have countries like Senegal, Mauritania, Libya, Rwanda, Cote d'Ivoire, DRC, Benin, Uganda, Ethiopia, Mozambique, Togo here, after Aflao, and Tanzania. So my question to you. We met revenues revised 2020. We had supply chain issues. All these countries had the same. Why is it that their countries are projected to be always doing well by way of the economy? How do you expect me to answer this? How do you expect me? To... I don't know who did this. I don't know what went Economic into Economic intelligence. It. But I don't know what went into it. I need to read a report. If you want to ask a question, I should be able to get the research work, know the methodology, how they collected the data, what they did. You cannot look at somebody's. <laughs> Uh, it's not somebody. Uh, no, no. I'm not saying we I don't use the, the economic intelligence. We've been using it since so, I started so practicing let me journalism. Ask you, I'm asking you. Any intelligent person will want to have the full work, read, understand methodology, the data used. I mean, working the data is a primary, secondary, based on what the margins of whatever. Before you can comment, we don't do things on this is mediocrity. I cannot just look at somebody's conclusion on this and say these are the reasons, these are not the reasons. What I know is that 
countries have their respective challenges, advantages, and disadvantages. And they have why they do well. You think all these countries do free SHS from FQ through to SHS? You think they do that? You think the tax collection, whatever, is the same? Two million only out of 32 pay direct tax? You think they are all the same? Talking about even the French countries, they don't have economic sovereignty. They don't have Uganda economic sovereignty. Uganda is not a French country. I'm saying even, to, I stated, that's Tanzania why I said French. Tanzania is not a French country. Boss, did I say all of them? No, you didn't say you all. You always have prejudicial position. I, I said, don't have. I, I made mention. No, I made mention of French countries. So why are you bringing other countries? Are they French countries? I'm only referring to you. Did I say all the countries are French countries? I'm only referring to you. No, no, did I say that? No, you didn't say that. No, viewers are watching you. I said French countries. I gave, I prefixed that with my statement. So what I'm saying is that no honest intellectual person, apart from those suffering from unconscious incompetence or they just want to display ego trips, intellectual dishonesty, so, will look at this on the surface and say that these are the reasons. You don't do research like that. I'm a research student myself. I know what I'm talking about. I need to get what went into the work, the research itself, and know so that I can comment. But you can't just look at it and say that the reasons are A, B, C, D. That is wrong. Anybody that tries to do that, just want to display his or her ego trips, or just want to do politics. And I've told you, I'm trying to stop doing unnecessary dysfunctional politics. Because Ghana, there should be a redefinition of our corporate focus. There should be a new point of convergence that MPP, NDC, all the media, others can come to the point that, Charlie, enough of all this. What can we do to change the lives of Ghanaians and have sustainable economic growth and, 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 and stability? This is what I want us to do. So if you go and pick this thing and bring, I'm expecting that you bring 20, 20, 20, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Then we can do proper analysis, trend analysis of what we are talking about. I agree. Because with you. the point I made was correct. I agree. The with private you. sector had to sack about 40,000. So the question again, and I will repose. And the I question. think now we are doing well. Okay. Things are not we okay are doing, for Ghana. We are, we are doing well, and that is commendable. And I'm saying we are doing well, we are the IMF, but we have the same like countries. Same countries, I've just told you the countries um, ask, where Uganda, ask, ask all, all in sub-Saharan Africa. Did they, Africa, all, all of them, did they do free second day? Did they do that? Did, did they, they have, have to do that before, before, before so they, they don't get into difficulty? We all have different output or funds outlay for different purposes. The things we are doing. All right. We have different tasks. Some of them have tedious, more involving more cumbersome task than others. So you cannot sit down and compare Togo and Ivory Coast to Ghana when they don't have economic sovereignty. Really? Yes, I'm coming. It's a fact, unless you don't understand your economics. Because they don't have something like Central Bank of Ghana where they develop out of their own discretion economic policy. You can't compare Ghana now to Cote d'Ivoire. Because I've given an explanation, unless you don't want to learn. And what I'm saying, professors are listening. They should come and tell me I'm lying. They don't have Central Bank of Ghana like us that they develop their own discretions when it comes to primary macro indicators policies. They don't. It is integrated into that of France. So they are entirely different. And I ask at that simple question, basic. I don't know. Do they do free SHS to the level they do? They only have two percent out of about two million out of about thirty two million if we to do that thing. Do they do the same thing? I'll say no. But what I know is that after the COVID, although there's still hardship, the government of Ghana, there are indications that all the economic parameters are doing well and that there seem to be a very good promising future that lives are going to be impacted. This is what I'm talking about and it's a fact. It is a fact. So Sam George, I'll take it from where he left off, where he does indicate, and I think it's on a very positive note, that we are turning around the corner and the president... Of oh, we finished turning around, now we are moving. We're moving, eh? Yeah, we turn. Okay, so we turn. Ken Ofrata said that, but now you see so, the figures. So according to Sticker, your current trade is Dr. Dr. Stephen Amwa, we've turned around the corner. We're now moving on the straight and narrow. And why is it that your side of the political divide doesn't want to acknowledge that? You know, it's interesting how 
all of a sudden people want to pontificate. The same sticker who sat on TV and was crying. That's not oh, true, please. And, That's and, fake story. No, let, let, that is TV fake. No, no, no. That that thing, where, where no, 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 no. This one, no, this one, no, no, no. You are saying you are talking about it. No, but you said that No, no, no. When you said I sat here and insulted, what was it? Keep quiet, girls, I will not. No, no. Keep quiet. Why you knock me? Yes. No, no, no. Keep quiet. Please, please. Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Why did I come and fight on TV? Sam George. Because of this. Listen. Sam George. When he was making submissions, Sam George. He made references to me that me I insulted about him. Yes, Sam George. I kept quiet. So keep quiet. Sam George. 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 So keep Sam George. Doctor Stephen Amwa. When a child is being stubborn, when a child is being stubborn, you knock the child. Please. Please close you know your mouth for me. Let me make a statement. No, Let me make a Let me. No, 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 wait. Please, I want to categorically state that as always as we do, we 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 let let's all let's all have a let's let let let's all make let all make our comments as friends, whether we belong to the other side of the political divide or in the general civil society space or academia, etc. And I'm hoping that he said I'll knock you in jest. But Sam George, that was not a very good comment. When a kid is misbehaving, you knock I mean, them. I, I, we shouldn't condone that. Listen, and we don't. Listen, that, uh, I, I, I to, but if you don't keep him quiet, I'll keep him quiet. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Please. <laughs> beat you. Please, so, um, so, so, Steve, that one. My boss, so, doc, I doc, my, doc. Lawyers, my lawyers will write to him. Because this is assault. Go and defy assault in thought. I hope you realize eminent, my time is not really because fiscal I will not accept this. No, that's okay. Or okay. eminent please, battles. Please, please. And and this is serious. Uh, educate me in law, no problem yes, like that. So but I'm saying that. I'm, say, I, I, I'm, I'm saying that. I'm, I'm saying oh, that. So, Sam Joe, please make your comment. That. I give you five minutes. One, you can't beat me. Five minutes. I will not fight. Yes, so that's okay. That, that the two of you shouldn't be true. You're all members of parliament. Yes. Very good. You're all brothers. So, 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 Five minutes, I, then I'll give you extra. Day. Seven, please. <laughs> Some, uh, please, no, no, I, no I, comment. Mm. Okay. I haven't Good insulted Baumia. If someone is in Your words are insolent. Your words are insolent. Just admit and then Seven and one. Seven and one. He, used, he does that all the time. He's my brother. Seven and one. That's Outside, he's a very fireman. You said we should have a nice okay, I'm conversation. Sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. I'm no, talking. no comments. Sam, um, sorry, and you are promising me now no comments. No, no, I'm no comments. Sorry. Sam George, you have seven minutes. I haven't insulted Baumia. So obi a bomb. Now we see what bomb one. Any attempt did he? How can he say that? If somebody is incompetent, if somebody uh, is clueless at their job, the and you call them, man on the continent of Africa is about me. He says, he says, he says, don't use such words to describe him. What bomb saying? Sam, on point. That one is wrong. Let's let, let, let's use. Uh, let's, yeah, let, let's use listen, <laughs> listen. Sticker and the NPP cannot determine what we say. They sat in this country. And I said, Sticker sat on TV crying about all the things that he claimed were wrong with this country. Today, now he says that we should change our that, corporate that image false. and this all the things that he wants false. to talk about. Well, Listen, I mean, I mean, let not, us be very clear not, in this it's country. Fake. It's Today, fake. Sticker says you cannot use Cote d'Ivoire because Cote d'Ivoire has no economic sovereignty. No, Yet, yes. the man he worships. Nanado Danko Kufado, who's appointed you, use Cote d'Ivoire as a yardstick to measure John Mahama and Prof. Samuel. Is that which not political? Is that not when? dishonesty? In which document? Is that not intellectual In dishonesty? In which of them? No. But even if he did and that oh was not God. right, you will yes. accept that. Stick Roland, stick if up. you don't control him, I will stand up and walk off the show. No, no. Stick, stick. I will stand but up and walk off the show. Stick, stick. If stick. if you don't if control you Sticker, if production that, cannot control stick, Sticker, stick. I'm making this clear. If he interjects me again, I'll stand stick, up and leave the stick, show. Stick, stick. Because when he was speaking, I was quiet. Yes. Please go ahead. Now, I sat here and listened to all the intellectual dishonesty that has been displayed here by the Honorable Member of Parliament for Enchiazo. Telling you today that unless he sees the methodology, the research model, he can't speak to an in economic intelligence unit report. The same EIU report that his party used and spoke to to say that they were winning 2016 and that they were winning 2020. When he gets his speaking notes from his party's communication wing, do they show him research statistics? When he made reference to World Bank figures for 2017, 2018, did you see the documents from the World Bank before? You see, when you are faced with the facts and you have no response, you engage in all the intellectual dishonesty and gymnastics we've seen on display here this morning. Listen, 
I will repeat for evidence and for the fact. And if you doubt me, go and read the president's speech. You said the president spoke about the depreciation of the city. I dare and challenge you to read what exactly the president said from the sonar. It's your own president. I'm daring you on this show. Read it and let us see where the president explained the causes for the depreciation of the city in his State of the Nation address. I'm daring you. But let me, tell, let me repeat again. Whether you like it or not, that in 2016, when John Muhammad was leaving power, the city was four cities to the dollar. Today, it is 13 cities to the dollar. That cannot be turning around the corner and going forward. That in 2016, inflation stood at 15.4%. Today, it stands at 23.5%. In fact, food inflation is 27.1%, even with your planting for food and jobs. These are facts you cannot dispute. You say, I sat here and put out numbers and figures that are untrue, and you think that that is not an attack on my personality? Whereas the figures I am stating are coming from your own budget of 2014, but I'm, uh, 2024, but I'm not surprised. The NPP doesn't read. They only come here to regurgitate what has been given to them as speaking notes. He doesn't read their own, their no, own budget. If he reads his budget he and had read the appendices, a PhD, PhDs, no, I mean, no, no, Charlie, no, look, no, don't, don't, use, don't use someone having a PhD. We've seen people who have PhDs and realize that what they say is not even worth a master's degree or a bachelor's degree. Yes. But yes. listen, listen, the, only one in Ghana today, listen, you know, the rate of inflation in Acheria Science Finance, inflation don't joke with in December 2022, went as high as 54%. There is no doubt about that. It is not my own creation that the lending rate in Ghana of 35% is the highest in Africa for the second year in a row. That is not my creation. That are, those are facts and statistics that Sticker cannot dispute. It is not incorrect that our debt to GDP ratio in 2016 was 56%. And that at the end of December 2022, it was 103%. This is fact. It is not my creation. It is not my creation that Ghana's current credit rating is baller, junk status. I am not saying it. The World Bank, the credit rating institutions, that's how they are rating Ghana's, Ghana's uh, uh, credit status. Junk, baller. I am not the one saying it. It is not my own creation. That growth rate in 2016 was 3.6%. And that today, under the NPP, it is 2.8%. It is not my own creation. That in 2016, manufacturing grew by 7.9%. In 2023, it grew by negative 1.0%. It is not my own creation. That industry grew by 4.3% in 2016 and grew by negative 1.2% in 2023. It is not my own creation. That the construction sector grew by 8.4% in 2016 and grew by negative 5% in 2023. These are not my own creation. It is not my own creation. That for the young people in Inshaeso who have been battered by unemployment, that per the Ghana Statistical Service, the Living Standard Survey, seven, published by the GSS, 8.4% of Ghanaians were unemployed in 2016. And that by September 2023, it is 14.7% of our, of our population that is unemployed. This is not me. Youth unemployment in our country today stands at 30%. Look, I'll tell you what. A media house has done a fantastic job to take the sonar and do a breakdown of all the key words. And I'm going to run through them. The 2024 sonar had 11,709 words. Elections were mentioned 10 times. Tax was mentioned six times. Jobs, six times. Road, six times. Corruption, zero. Economy was mentioned four times. Free SHS, eight times. Education, 18 times. Security, 17 times. Galamse which is perpetrated by the president's party, the most in this country, zero. Performance tracker, six times. IMF, three times. Digitization or digitalization, 10 times. Debt, 11 times. Unemployment, which is the number one issue going into the 2024 election, zero. The president did not mention corruption. He did not mention galamse. He did not mention unemployment in his entire speech. Again, I am daring sticker to show us a single mention of any of these three words. Look, when a president gives you the state of the nation, when we are clothed and, and, and surrounded by acts of corruption, blatant acts of corruption, where we are told that $12 million of our money was paid for a Japa, 
where we are told that as we sit now, 1.5 billion Ghana cities of our revenues from ECG were given to PDS. Where we are told that $2 million was taken from our money and spent on SkyTrain. Where we are told that Baumia, the protege of, the, of, of, of President Akufuado, is using digitalization as a means to enrich himself and build a war chest for, 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 for his campaign. Where we are told that we have lost $2 billion US dollars to the PDS scandal alone. Someone sits here. After we have misplaced priorities, we have spent $54 million to build a home, the world's most expensive home, in the name of a cathedral. I'm not surprised. A pa president whose party is a doyens of Galamse, why would they not try to practice Galamse in central Accra by digging that hole for $54 million? National what cathedral. national cathedral? A hole for $54 million? And that, that is why the president could not mention corruption. That is why the president could not mention Galamsey. That is why the president and Baumia could not look in the young face, the faces the of young Ghanaians who has the office and not tell of them. The OSP, and not tell them. The OSP says that the president is fighting him. Corruption has fought the president of Ghana and won. The corruption has flooded Akufuado and put him how, and how, Baumia how on their back. The if, the if, if corruption had not beaten Akufuado and Baumia and put them on the floor, he would have been able to speak about corruption. I say President Akufuado did not mention corruption once. In his state of the nation address, President Akufuado did not speak about youth unemployment. Never one time, not once, talk about youth unemployment. The youth of this country voted for President Akufuado because he promised them that he was going to give them jobs. He promised them that he was going to pay their rent for them. President Akufuado and Baumia have been dishonest. They have lied to the youth of this country, and the youth of this country are pained. As a young man, I speak. Sika is not a young man. He won't understand the issues of the youth. I man. understand the issues He's of the youth, man. and I will speak as a young man. And no, no, no. Please, so let's not go there. Have, have you looked in the mirror? Look at, look at the have, you look in the, you have you looked in the mirror? Have you looked in the mirror? Everything listen. about it is in no, listen, no, no, attack. Listen, listen, okay. please. Okay. please okay. The reality, the reality. Okay. The reality. Yeah, reality. Yeah, yeah, so let me wrap up and let him stop interjecting. Now stop him. The fact is, the fact is simple. You can choose to play. You can choose to play emotional blackmail and say someone is insulting. Hey, the young people of our country, Baumia and Akufuado promised you that they were going to pay rent for you. They promised you that they were going to give you jobs they have failed to give you jobs they have not given you any employment they have enriched themselves enriched their cronies the president came to parliament and was fighting his own chairman of the finance committee Kweku Kwating, for not passing tax exemptions for his cronies the president is interested in parliament approving one billion Sam, dollars up. one billion dollars it's not two minutes Why? Well, what time are you using, are you using Baumia's time look the president is, is up, interested. The president is interested. I am hosting. I say your in, time is up. Listen, the president is interested in parliament, and I'm landing on this, Roland. The president is interested in us giving giving tax exemptions of one billion dollars to his own friends and family and cronies. The same way, the same way he already forced parliament to give exemptions to his wife's brother-in-law. His wife's brother-in-law. What are you talking about? Puma Hotel. Listen, we give exemptions for spoon. Even chamber pot in that hotel, we've given tax exemption for it. That is what the president is using tax exemptions for. And the young people of this country don't have jobs. They have not paid rent for them. They failed on all the promises to them. And you sit here. And when we call the president and his aplanke mate Baumia out, you say to me that I am insulting. I am not. I am not the one who, who is not insulting to call I, a man I, I, a wet. Baumia himself said I, he's I, a mate. I'm, uh, Sam did George, Baumia I'm, call himself a mate Sam, or not? Sam George, did I'm, Baumia I'm, call I'm himself a mate or not? He said he's a mate. Yes. And in Ghana, and in Ghana, you see, because you are, you've lived in Akaba, you don't. In Ghana, oh, okay, mate is a blanket. A planki a jeje mo. O no ga ke mo ni. Cho mo le a ke a planki a planki a jeje mo. That 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 thing you. I hope that you said it in jest. That I will knock you or whatever. It was in jest. Everything I buy is. Where where your child is busy? Don't you just tap his head and shake it? Keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. Oh no no no. Keep quiet. Oh no no no. Keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. Oh no no. Keep quiet, keep quiet. Hey. Tell me about your head. Your head, your head, your head. They fall. So assault and battery. Come on. No 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 no. No, but um, but it's, um, um, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, well, that, that well, is why I'm, well, friends, that well, is why I'm intelligent, mm. I'm smart, mm. I'm sensible, mm. I'm studious. Okay. Yo, it's not about it. the head was made by God. Mm. So if you want to insult the same God you said, oh, I mean, go and read, who has insulted go and read Genesis. Mm. But God you see, himself you see, you see, himself and said everything he did 
was good. You are saying that God had done no. something. God but said, God said, we are fearfully and wonderfully no. made. Me that some are wonderfully made, some <laughs> are fearfully made. Now, he is fearfully now, made, now, I am wonderfully now, made. Was, we are fulfilling now, scripture. Now was, you are fearfully made, was, I am wonderfully was, made. Okay. There was eminent fearful and wonderful. Mm. Now there is battery. <laughs> and my lawyers will write to him. He thinks I'm joking. Okay. It's a serious thing. All right. Unpermitted touch. Is then let me do it well. Oh. Okay, <laughs> keep on. And I have a video. You can keep on doing it. My brother, I just no, want to read uh, this. The, 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 you think, you think no, no. I, I, I got, I got yeah, that for while, jokers? While you are there, the, the key consideration, and, and even yesterday I was in Parliament. Don't, don't give me one minute. Okay, no, I'll give you one minute. I'm giving you seven minutes, just like I gave No, you. no, he had about 15. No, 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 he didn't. He had seven. That was five minutes. See, seven, even seven from minutes. production, oh, I can hear yeah. you. Hey. You, 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 you oh, lie and even the devil no, 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 says no, no, blood no, no, of no, Jesus. No, no, no. What is this? No, no, no. What is uh, this? Seven hours. Seven hours. Oh, Bernard, oh, oh, I don't know, I don't even, know which no, school no, no. you attended. Do you understand oh, estimation? Please. I went to ninth school. No, That's please. why. Uh, Maybe uh, your school no. never did estimation. No, no, uh, I went to ninth school. No, but for more consideration, yesterday when I was listening to the speech of the press, I thought things like employment, youth unemployment, etc., will take a better part. Of it as well, and that's a key concern for me because they tend so to the bring money. Never mentioned employment. I, I read he said about 170,000 jobs have been created. Is it a snitch? Uh, that one, no, and any employment. Please don't let us deceive us. I want to read this. This is the president's statement, uh, page not what? edited. Page what? So page 13. Page 13, okay. Fifth paragraph. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six line. But you start from the fifth. It said the city has been largely stable since February 2020. San George, quiet. Accumulative depreciation of 9% between February and December 2023. So you see, you lie. Apologize to Ghanaians. Ah. No, yeah, you go and no, 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 no. Has he spoken about the depreciation? Oh. No, please. So what is the lie here? So what did he tell so you what how the city one? depreciated? No, it's ah, okay. when when oh, we talk, no, no, you don't no, listen. No, 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 Stika, no, no, Stika no, no, goes to no, the exam hall with his own question. Allow him, allow him. I should allow him how. No, I even ask the question how he even got there. That was very exactly. But he said the president never touched on the city depreciation. Yes, you are here. Yes, and he's here. It's he says the city has been oh, largely stable. Sam has the city been stable? Sam 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 has the city been stable? Nah, nah, the man is lying. No, you see your disgrace. You see your disgrace. How am I disgrace? Now you see what guy is Let's not get that. You too. Please. Roland, you are still fighting when you are lying. Roland, Roland. Relax. No, don't let me no, leave the two of us. No, 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 no. You no, left no, him no. with me. People are watching. Oh, oh yes. Watching. And I'm helping the people understand <laughs> no, and expose his life. Please, 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 please. Ah, please. So, so, so. No, I'm asking you. Yes. You uh -huh. go to church, don't you? Uh -huh. Did he say that the, the fact that you go to church doesn't mean you go to heaven? Did he say that the president? Even the devil goes to church and quotes the Bible. He said that right. Page thirteen. No, he said that right. Page thirteen. Let's go. Yes. When he says cumulative depreciation. Oh. He said he never touched on that thing is on. But uh, has he told you why your city has depreciated? Ah, the man he, says the city is did stable. Did you say the president said why the city was? Did you say I that? Said the city, the president the did president not touch on the reasons for oh, city yeah, depreciation. Yeah, That's liar. what I said. You're a big liar. You, you are big. The whole world. I've never seen someone like. You. Now I don't believe you. At first I believed you. Seriously, you're a big liar. In fact, don't let me think that. Anyway, let me stop. Now you, you you sat down quietly this. for him because to say it, but it is not. Ah. When the president has come to lie, for example, he says I shouldn't call the president a liar. Yet the president lied that six hundred thousand people are on SNIT. Did the president not say six hundred thousand people are on SNIT? Your president is a liar. Now we don't call Kufuado. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's dishonest. No, no, no. SNIT said that sixty thousand people. Akufuado came and stood in parliament with Baumia and said six hundred thousand. Yet today Akufuado is a big person. You, the man who appointed you. Please, a liar please, Sam because George, he knows you are a liar. Sam George, so a liar George, appoints George, a liar to come George. and lie to Ghanaians to deceive Sam them. George, no. Let square. him have his time, please. It's fair. It's fair. No, no, no. It's stop it. What is, what is unfair? No. Did, did, did you hear him call me a liar? Did you hear him call me a liar? You are the president's a liar. Oh, that's fine. But Akufado is a liar. And Baoni is a liar. You are both a liar. You are living lies. Please close your mouth. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. I hear you. Me, I am a, I'm a 39 year old liar. Akufado is a 79 year old liar. No, no, no. Let's not. And it's a blessing. Let's not. It's a blessing to be at his age. No, please. Pray at his age. age. When the president Pray. should be teaching his grandchildren no, to tell the truth. No, please. The president no, please. is standing before the whole country no, please. and lying. No, and you sit here no. at your age, a 50-year-old man. Uh -huh. You are sitting here and defending a grandfather. 
a grandfather who should be teaching his children the truth is lying. No, 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 stop. Just, he just stop is this. lying. Please, please close your port. Close your port. You are allowing the president no, no. to lie. No, no, the president no, no, came no, no, to no, lie. No, 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 stop Why? Stop Roland, stop why? It is okay for him to call me a liar. George, stop it. We would establish the fact that Akufuado is a liar. Calling the president a liar. No, no, stop it. Why? We have to. Why? Sam George, Sam George can be called a liar. Did you ask him to withdraw it? Roland, if you want me to stop, you ask him to withdraw it. If he doesn't withdraw it, we will continue here. No, there's they are shrines. Ah, they are shrines. Let's even shrines. They, they, they are shrines. Akufuado is a liar. Akufuado is a liar. I will continue to repeat it. If you don't want me to say no, it, then he must withdraw. No, 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 if he doesn't withdraw, so, so Akufuado is a liar no, no, no. who lied about no, 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 Snake. No, no, I'm no, telling no, you specifics. No, no, he lied no, about Snake. Withdrawn. Can I? He lied about Snake. What have you withdrawn? I have withdrawn you being a liar. Can I go on? But it doesn't change the fact that Akufuado is still a liar. He lied about Snake. That they told that 60,000 no, no, people have registered, no, and no, Akufado no, came to lie that 600,000 people. Please, Roland, am I lying? Is, is it let's true or wrong? Let's not Did Akufado tell the truth or lie about it? You have to say that the president said what was not true. You cannot say that. When you say something that is not true, that you describe. When you say something is not true, what is it? I will not entertain that today. Let's stop it. At least we've established we've established that we've established that the president is a 79 year old liar. I will not. No, I will not entertain. Please continue. In the first place, my president. This year, we won't not, accept no, any no, of those things. If they bring it, we will deal with that. Mahmoud Baumia is not a liar. Who? Oh. Ghanaians know. Mahmoud Baumia, who oh, has gone to please, steal please, John Mahama's 50 million no, no, fund no, no, for no, fintech. No, 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 no. Mahama announced it at no, no, at no, 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 at no, 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 on Friday. Please mute Then on Monday, mute his sound. Baumia goes to announce it. He's stealing and lying. Okay, can I speak now? Yes, please. Boss. This year, we will match them. When? The next time when I come on the show and I'm sitting here, to, you keep quiet when, when I'm talking. To, oh, you, they know you. you. They've written you off. You don't know. Okay. The whole country. Please. Let's when it comes to corruption. The whole country has written me oh, off, but Akufuado has not been written off. <laughs> See, he can keep attacking me. Oh, he attacks oh, me. I go after Akufuado. I mean, that's what I, I want. want. To I want to end this well. Oh, let's, let's oh end we will it end it well. Ah, the whole country <laughs> will see. The whole country has written Akufuado off. But we all know that Akufuado has checked out. Akufuado has checked out. He's just there. He's waiting to hand over to President Mahama. As for Baumia, Akufuado no, 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 no. please owe him yesterday. Please mute their mic. Can I, can I continue? Yes. Please. If he wants to continue, he should be careful what he says. But if he says no, no, anything no, no, wrong, stop, stop, I will come out. When it comes to corruption, mm -hmm. everybody knows Nanado no, no, is the mother of all, corruption. Let's I didn't say that. The special prosecutor said that. Why are you doing this? Is it not Martin Amidu who said that? Allow him to talk. I'm giving him a taste of his own medicine. He knows that. What I say There is oh, nothing intellectual in what you are coming no, to no, say. No, 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 so no, no. Martin no, no, no. Amidu, no, no, no. Martin no, no, no. Amidu said Nanado is the mother serpent of Redrada, Redrada. You cannot say that. I am redrawing that word. That's what I'm saying. I'm more intelligent. No, no, no. You cannot say that. That Martin Amidu did not say that Nanado is the mother serpent of Redrada. Somebody who is as intelligent as I am. Why? Young politicians, you come and you do. No, no. Let's not allow. Martin Amidu said Nanado is the mother serpent of corruption. Please, I have to end the show. So you know what I'm speaking. What are you going to say? I'm speaking on the corruption. Papa. But Nanado did not speak when on corruption. corruption. Oh, Nanado did not speak he on corruption. What is he coming to respond to? The is he coming about to respond? Is he coming to say what Nanado did? Oh say? no no no! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! Nanado could not so speak on that, corruption. Stop that. Let him have. You see how it is? Are you okay? I'm not. You can't speak on corruption because Nanado did yeah. not have the balls no, to speak on corruption. So what are you coming to say? There is no corruption. There's no sooner. So what are you coming to talk? Seven more. Seven more. Anywhere Seven more. You can never. Seven more. You, Seven hours, please, you can never please, be MP. But I became MP before, before you. No, it doesn't I became matter. MP before you. It doesn't matter. <laughs> when no, no, I was it, MP, it was your life aspiration to be an MP. It doesn't no, matter. Please, so, please, so, no, no, so that's why no, you no, can't no, run no, away from it. No, no, let's talk no, about individual no, achievements. No, absolutely. No, you can't lace my shoes, young man. You can't lace my shoes. You can't lace my shoes. Look at those shoes very well. You can't lace them. You can't lace them. Look at them very well. Please. No, 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 no. No, please. Let's end the show. We're at the, we're at the show this morning. <laughs>